Sometimes in life, your vice president says this. I can tell you, and I've known eight presidents, three of them intimately. And doesn't quite realize what he just said. In these times, headlines that suck is there for you. Joe Biden, I've known eight presidents, three of them intimately. Well, at least that gives context to this quote. I promise you, the president has a big stick. Todd Akin on abortion, legitimate rape victims have ways to try and shut that whole thing down. The same effect politics has had on Todd Akin's brain. Kentucky rancher feeds candy to cows during drought. Jolly ranchers make for jolly cows. CBS radio chief exec, sorry, radio is far from dead. Now there's someone with an unbiased view. Mike Huckabee finds silver lining, says rape can result in some extraordinary people. And consensual sex can result in Mike Huckabee. It's a cruel world. Syphilis outbreak prompts porn shutdown. In the last film released before the shutdown, Burning Desire. Now this next one was submitted on HeadlinesThatSuck.com by Stephen Baumgartner. Politician calls opponent a jerk off in TV ad. And truth in advertising reaches down under. True story, Stephen. And I think this headline actually deserves some special attention because of the way said politician called other politician a jerk-off. Let's check out this ad. See if you can pick it out. Oh, from top to bottom, Hendo is a jerk-off. Nice. Drunk driver pees on breath test equipment. He failed. Burglars carrying Pomeranian, sweet Bellevue. These two are wanted for questioning. Well, that's it for this week. Now, if you see a headline that sucks in the next week, Put it in the comments below or submit it at headlinesatsuck.com. And actually, next week, we're going to be in Tampa Bay for the Republican National Convention. So there might be something that sucks there. That's all.